Hey there, it's Nicole here to give you another full bar class today. This one's a little bit shorter than our typical 55, 60 minute class. As always, this is going to include our warm up, upper body, our bar series, and then a little bit of core work on the floor. So all you'll need is a light set of weights and a mat, and obviously something to give yourself a little bit of stability. I'll see you center floor. All right, you guys, let's get started here in a parallel stance. Give yourself a few little shoulder rolls, and then we start with those arms extended out to the side. Plie down for two, and up for two. Knees go in line with those toes as you drop that tailbone down, and then grow a little bit taller through the crown of the head. Here to speed this up, we'll do one more nice and slow, and then we'll find our tempo. You're down, and up. Relax those shoulders as you lift. Find those shoulders sinking down the length of the spine. Let's add a releve. You're down and up. Last two. Hold it up. Knee lifts. It's right and left. Start to warm up those hip flexors. Warm up the core. Point nice and tall through those toes. Nice and long through those toes. We're going to add a twist here. Tapping the elbow to the thigh as you twist the torso side to side and pull. Pull. Really warming up through that core. Try to touch the elbow each and every time. Let's finish it here, landing with those feet still in that hips distance apart parallel stance. We squat and up. Tailbone goes back, weight goes into the heels. Give your arms a nice big stretch back, activating through those triceps and shoulders as you find that lowering down. Squeeze the glutes as you press back up. We're going to find a little combo here, finding the heel lift at the top. Press it down, stretch tall, heel lift, and lower. Weight in the heels, and then grow tall through those inner thighs. Down, stretch, up. I want you to feel like you can scissor the inner thighs as you come up. Find a little variation here. We pulse down, two, one, stand up, four heel lifts. Three, two, again, press it, four, three, two, stand up, press, press, press. Finish it here. You go down. Down. Feel like the arms are pressing through peanut butter as you move, so you really start to activate through that upper body. The last one. And press, press. Let's land with our toes out, heels in. We plie first to second. Nice and big level changes here. Working on getting those thighs to be parallel to the floor, pushing off that floor as you come back in. If you want to, you can take it to a jump. But if you don't want to jump, stay exactly as you are. If you are jumping, land nice and softly, toe ball heel back into your bend, landing so quietly that anyone around you can't hear you. Sit a little deeper, and then pulse. Palms up and palms back. Palms up, palms back. Can you sit a little deeper in that tailbone? Oh, let's curtsy. Second to curtsy, just the right leg. Find those knees nice and wide so you find that diamond shape. I'm going to hold the curtsy. Find eight pulses with that front heel lifted. And then after you've found eight, rotate, twist on the ball ends of the feet to turn to the back of the room and pulse eight more times. Be mindful of that back knee. Make sure that the hips are externally rotated. And then we second to curtsy. This time we take it on the left side. Reminding yourself to drop those shoulders down the length of the spine as you sit back. Keep that diamond shape. And then we find eight times on this left side. And then hold that curtsy, lift your front heel, and pulse eight, seven, six. Rotate it on the ball ends of the feet, and turn. Finish it here for eight, seven, four, three. Slide those feet together, big breath down, and then all the way up. And that's your warm-up. Give yourself that shoulder roll. Let's head to our arms. We start here in a second position with plies. Arms are just extended down, fingertips reaching towards the floor. And then keep the shoulders rolling down the length of the spine here, starting with that lower body. We're going to add a pulse here at the bottom. Little tiny bends. Sit a little deeper. Roll those knees back a little further behind you. And start to rotate the palms forward here. Keep a soft bend within the elbows. Now hold it nice and low, and we find our bicep curls. Pull it in and lower. Oh, look at my heel tapping. Don't you wonder what song I'm listening to? Hmm. 
Keep that contraction as you pull those biceps or those palms in towards the biceps. Never fully releasing as you drop down. And now we add a little dip of the hip. Now if you don't want to find that lower body, maybe just stay in the second position without that little extra dip into the challenge zone. And then at the bottom we hold and pulse. Little tiny bends. Pull those palms in a little closer towards your chest. Sit those hips down a little deeper. Now we're going to open up the elbows, or excuse me, open up the thumbs towards the back of the room, giving the shoulders a nice big squeeze as you rotate open. Elbows hugging towards the midline. Try to keep that deep bend within the knees. All right, we're going to hold those arms out in just a moment. From here, we'll reach the right arm out to the side and then lift the right heel as we come up. So reach and pull, stretch. So my right hand goes slightly into my peripheral so I can see my right pinky as I extend. That heel lift is totally optional. Finding eight total on this side, and then once you've found eight on the right, we'll swap it out and lift that left heel, extend the right arm. We're still actively working through the opposite arm with that elbow hugging in towards the midline. Shoulders are sinking down, nice long extension. So weight on the left, and then we extend both heels, both arms. Again, fingers are slightly in your peripheral. Notice that I don't really find a lift in the eye line, so I'm staying nice and low, lifting those heels to their highest potential. And then we hold the arms out, little tiny pulse. Now I only have about one pound weights here in each arm. I wouldn't go any higher than three with the amount of repetition that we have here. Let's bring those wrists to touch and then extend back out. So back of the hands come to meet and then palms go up. This is where we give the lower body a little bit of a break, but I'm still actively pulling and engaging through the core, lengthening through those inner thighs. Hammer curls. Biceps are parallel to the floor. Thumbs come in towards my face. Wrists are directly over those elbows. If you want to take this nice and low, you can, with the elbows hugging towards the midline as you find that hammer curl. Pulse it up. Little lift. Little lift. And then start to heel toe the feet to a parallel stance so those feet are directly underneath the hips. Keep pulling the crown head up to this sky, little tiny pulses up. And then out and in. Palms go out, palms go in. Reach, press. Nice 90 degree shape stays here the entire time. And then we hold it out, extend those pinkies down and in. Reach out. And in. Again, I can slightly see my fingers in my peripheral, so I'm not fully opened up, not I'm not opening up through the rib cage. Everything's pulling in towards those hips. And we hold the reach and pulse those thumbs up. Little tiny lifts. This is where you're happy that you are holding on to those one pound weights and not anything bigger. Little tiny lifts. Up, up. Don't worry, we're moving on in just a moment. And then reach to a low fifth back behind you and then stretch it back up. Hinge your body slightly forward, finding a bend through those knees, and then stretch it up. Hinge, core is engaged, scooping the abdominals in and up off the thighs, and then hold it here. Oh, let's speed it up. Now, if you don't want to speed it up, stay with that slower tempo. I'll rotate to the side here. You can see how my body is shaped. Chest is proud. Now my thumbs are lifting high off the hips, and they never want to come past the hips. Pressing the palms towards the midline so we're actively pulling and lengthening through those shoulders and then option to lift those heels if you'd like to challenge your balance. We find our pulses at the top. Pinkies lift a little higher. Corona head's being pulled towards the front of the space. Little lift. Up. Again, the heel lift is totally optional. Now press the palms towards one another. Thumbs stay high off the hips. Abdominals stay pulling in towards that low back so you protect the low back as you find that hinge. We're finishing it here with one push and one lift. Lift it up, push it in. Push it in, lift up. Think about keeping those hands as high off the hips as you can. Finishing this arm series, maybe sitting even a little deeper with those hips, lifting those heels a little higher, and then drop the heels, extend the arms. We lift and lower, shoulder lifts, Control that lift, control the lower, trying not to find any sort of swing in the low back. Using the strength of the arms, maybe add a heel lift if you'd like to challenge that lower body a little bit more. Try to initiate the movement from the glutes. 
lifting up nice and tall, spreading the toes, and then we hold it here. Rotate the palms in. So now the arms are in first. I have a big bend through my knees, and then I drop down an inch, up an inch. Every time I drop my hips down an inch, I find a little bigger bend within the arms, and then extend those arms forward. Heels can drop down, heels can stay high. And then we pulse. Little tiny pushes of the hips down, press those hands towards the front of the space, just getting a bigger circle within those arms. Shoulders keep pressing down. Neck stays long. Cross it out. Last one here. Finish it strong. Press opposite arm on top. Last four. Three, two, one. And drop the heels. Roll the shoulders. We find ourselves here at the bar in our first position. Both arms can be off the bar or you can take your inside arm onto the bar. Just start with your simple plies. So the shoulders are stacked over the hips. The tailbone goes straight down as those knees go wide. I'm going to challenge myself and take those arms off the bar so I'm fully just finding the support of my body. Little tiny pulses at the bottom. So find your lowest potential without allowing those heels to lift off the floor. Keep pulling the crown of the head up and then send that tailbone down. And hold your lowest pulse. Lift the heels and down. Try not to lift your eye line at all. Stay nice and low, just finding that lift of the heels. Lift it up. Spread the toes to the webbing. Try not to just hover the heels, but get them up to the highest potential. Dropping your hips down an inch, up an inch. Find yourself in your challenge zone and then just take it down one inch deeper. As always, you can modify by dropping those heels to the floor if you need. Find your pulses at the bottom. Little tiny dips. Sit lower. Lower than you think that you can. If you need to, take that arm onto the bar to give yourself that support, but just find a two-finger touch. Woo, those legs are starting to fire up. Hold the lower body as is and just lift and lower the arms. Try not to open up through the rib cage and not lift the shoulders up to the ears as you take those arms overhead. And hold those arms up and go back to your pulses. Send that tailbone a little lower. Extending all the way up through those fingertips. Find all that energy. Finishing it here. And then take those arms to first. First. Drop the heels. First to second. Just like we did in our warm-up, maybe now that the body is nice and warm, you get a little deeper into that plie. You know we're going to add that jump in, but if you want to, you can stay right here. But if you're ready to get that heart rate elevated a little bit more, this is your chance. Out and in. Landing softly, toe ball, heel back into that big bend. Ooh, chance to burn those calories. Ooh. We're going to hold that second position in just a moment and go back to your pulses with those palms. Up and back. Palms go up. Palms go back. Go a little deeper in that bend every time. We're going to change this to a second to passe, connecting the outside foot to the knee. Down, up. Find this moment of balance. Actively pointing that toe up. Your knee is rotated towards the center of the room. This is where your body starts to find that death grip, or your fingers start to find that death grip on the bar. Don't allow it. Find that eleve or that releve, excuse me, if you choose. Finding that lift. Stack the right shoulder over the right hip, over the right heel. If that's too much on the arm, feel free to keep the shoulder at first position. Add in a little heel tap here. Down, passe, up, two heel taps, and down, down. Lift, tap the heel, tap the heel. Down, lift, again. Now if you have shin or calf trouble, that heel tap can be turned into a little bend of the knee as opposed to that heel lift. This is really where you start to want to grip that bar. Now start to find the extension. Reach the toes back behind you and then come back up to your passe. Reach, chest stays proud, and lift. Heel can be lifted or dropped down. As you can see, I dropped my heel to the floor. Reach and up. Tempo, reach and up. My camera keeps auto-focusing. Reach and stretch. Reach. Hold it there. Pulse that supporting leg. So keep the extension of those toes back behind you. Keep that bicep reaching up by the ear. And then meet me in a curtsy. Down an inch. Up an inch. Now we've already been in this curtsy position before in our warm-up. So we're just coming back to it. Both heels are lifted. Both arms are overhead. 
We'll take it to a pulse. Little tiny bends, sitting deeper. Again, we're coming back to that diamond shape. You always have that option to modify with that front heel on the floor. We're going to take one curtsy back, one curtsy first, or excuse me, one first, one curtsy front. So a little combo back, in, front, in, back, in, front, in. A little bouncing here. We're going to finish with the same leg back behind us. Now rotate into a nice wide fourth position so the feet are parallel and then we single lunge. I opted to take my arm onto my hip or my hand onto my hip so I could give my arm a little bit of a break but you can keep it in high fifth or in first. Hovering that back knee off the floor, try to get both knees in that 90 degree shape and then we pulse it at the bottom. Shoulders remain over hips. Core still engaged. Sit a little deeper. And we'll find three pulses and then a switch. And now this switch is your modification. We will be adding on, but if you want to stay exactly as you are, you can. After this last one, we're going to find a jump as we switch. We go three, two, one, jump switch. Three, two, one, jump and switch. Now you want to land toe ball heel back into that front foot so you're not landing straight into the flat foot. You know it's coming up single split jumps. Now if jumping's not in your practice, just step back alternating your lunges. You can go fast, you can go slow. So from here we have two pulses in our lunge, two pulses to rotate to a second. So really twist on the ball mount of that back foot so you protect the knee joint. And then we hold in our second. So when you hold in your second, find your lowest position here. Lift the right heel and pulse. Sit deeper. Challenge yourself a little bit more knowing that you are almost done with this side. Then we lift the left heel, eight pulses. We are going to lift both heels and pulse the hips down for eight, seven, six. Finishing this side strong for four, three, two. Lift those arms. Release those shoulders down the length of the spine. Maybe close your eyes and find your balance. There we go. Let's take the other side. So here we are on the opposite side. A little variation here. We're going to start still in that first position, but with heel lifts. So again, we're initiating the movement here with the booty. And then we find our tempo. Trying to lift those heels and drop those heels as high as you can each and every time. And we're going to hold that lift up nice and tall. And then we take it down for three, two, one, squeeze and lift. Three, two, one, squeeze those inner thighs. Two more. Then we're going to reverse this after this one. Down for one, up for three. Down, squeeze, take your time. Again, you're down. Lift, up, again, press. Lift those heels as high as you can. And down, squeeze, two counts down, two counts up. Down two, lift and lengthen. Down two, up. Two more, and then we'll find our single counts. Now your range of motion might not be as big when we find our single counts, but challenge yourself to push. Down, squeeze, down. Lower down, pull it up. You've got that string pulling the crown of the head up to the sky. Hold it low, back to your pulses. Challenge yourself, take those arms off the bar. Shoulders stay over the hips. Back to that first to second. In and out. Now you know that we have that jump coming up. If you want to skip that jump, feel free to stay exactly as you are. I challenge you to find that jump. There aren't many options to jump in this practice. So take it when you can. Get that heart rate up. Land it softly, toe ball heel. Land back into that big bend. And then we'll finish with those pulses out in second. Arms go up, arms go back, arms go up and back. Sit deeper, push those knees back. Get a little deeper into that bend. Second to passe, all the way down, all the way up. Find that moment of balance as you lift that toe to the knee. Getting ready to add that releve if you'd like to move on. So that heel will lift at the top. 
Keep that right shoulder sinking down as you bring that arm up to that high fifth. Watch that death grip on that inside arm again. Again, if you don't want to find that heel lift, keep the heel flat on the floor. We're getting ready for that combo. So one passe, two heel taps. Down, up, tap, tap again. Down, up, lower, lift, lower, lift. So my calf is starting to fire up. Actually, the entire length of the back of my leg is on fire. The heart rate is elevated with these big level changes. Extend the leg back and then come back up. So again, I opted to drop my heel down to the floor, but you always have the option to keep it lifted. Getting a little deeper within that bend of the front knee every time you hinge slightly forward. Extend, lift. Apparently I have an itch on my neck. And then we hold. Pulse that supporting leg. Keep that right bicep reaching by the ear, extending those fingers forward. Feel that length. And then we meet in that curtsy. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. So the toes are out, the heels are in. Then pulse, sitting deeper. Again, you know that option to take those arms off the bar. Getting ready for that curtsy to first, back, in, front, in. Every time you find that movement, you sit a little deeper. You can take your arm to first. You can keep it overhead. We're going to hold that right leg back behind us and then rotate to that parallel position. So widen the stance. You want to make sure that as you find your lunge, the front knee does not pass over the ankle. Hovering that back knee off the earth. And then pulse at the bottom. Every time you're getting a little deeper into that position, we're getting ready for those three pulses with a jump and switch. Actually, we're not jumping at the beginning, just a switch. So we'll start with that modification. Three, two, one, and switch. Three, two, one, and switch. And then we add that jump. You can go slower. You can skip the jump altogether. You can even just stick with your pulses. So there's a couple of options here. Getting ready for those split jumps. Nice and wide. Last chance in this class to jump. And then two pulses down. Two pulses second. Again, noticing that you twist on the ball mound of that back foot so you protect that knee as you rotate into that second position. <clears throat> Last one. Hold it second. That was not the last one. I was still going. I can't stop. Toe taps. Down and up. Big bend. Big extend. Pushing those toes all the way off the floor. And then we add a little lift of the leg. So just about an inch or two off the earth as you extend. Just finishing our bar series here. Deep second position. Lift your heels. Take the arms overhead. Sit a little deeper. And then stretch it up. And that's your bar series. Let's take it to the mat. So sitting on your sits bones, roll yourself down so you are all the way on your back. We're going to start in a figure four position. So cross that right foot over the left thigh, hands behind the head. We find our single supine crunches up and down. So keep pushing the right knee forward. I want you to find that rib to hip connection as you flex through that right foot. We're going to find eight singles and then hold the highest lift at the top and pulse. So we lift and then press a little higher. Try not to pull on that head and neck. Feel like you have an orange underneath the chin and you're giving it a nice big hold. Now this is your modification staying here if you want. If you'd like to add on, we're going to hover the left foot off the floor and keep that figure, fate. Go, keep figure four shape. Go back to the single lifts. Ribs connect up to the hips, lifting the head, neck, and shoulders. After we find eight, we find our pulses at the top. Lift, lift. Again, actively pushing that right knee forward. Keep that opposite knee in line with the hip. Finishing here with eight. Now your arm's going to extend all the way in front of you as we keep the upper body lifted here. And then lower the leg. Lift it back up. So maintain that shape here. And then lift. Only going as low as you can keep that low back pressing to the floor. Maybe lift a little higher. And then we hold this heel dropping towards the floor. Lift up a little higher, pull those lower leg, excuse me, lower abdominals in towards the earth. 
Keeping that figure four, drop the right foot down, lift and lower. Now we're focusing on the obliques here on that right side of the body. So the left thigh drops down, the right knee lifts up. Finishing here, we'll take little tiny pulses at the top. Little lift. And try to lift your left shoulder as high as the right. Again, elbows stay nice and wide. Feel that cinch in the right side of the body. And then finish it here. Give yourself a little stretch. You can hang out here as long as you want before you take it to the opposite side. Find a nice psoas stretch as you drop that foot to the floor. And then we'll swap it out. Again, I'd say hang out here a little bit longer before you take it to the opposite side. Don't mind my dirty foot as it comes in towards the camera. Let's swap it out. Lift and lower. Keep flexing through that left foot. God, my foot looks big. Lift, lower. Keep pushing that left knee forward. Every time you lift that upper body up a little bit higher and pulse, lift. I guarantee that that core is on fire. You want to give up, but do not. We are almost done with this lower body, or excuse me, this mat section working on the core. Lucky for you, this bar class does not have any lower body focus as we come to our mat. We kept it at the bar. So now I'm hovering that right foot off the floor, finding those single supine crunches, and then pulsing, lift, lift. Definitely want to give up at this point, but don't. Stay with it. We are almost done. You know what's coming up. We find that hover of the heel off the floor. So we're going to reach those fingers forward, hold that upper body up as high as you can, and then hover down. Lift it up. Three more times. Keep that low back pressing down. Keep the belly pulling in. And now hold that heel down. Hold, hold, hold. Lift the upper body up a little higher. And then we'll drop that right foot down and then slowly release the left foot down. Keep that knee up to the sky. Single supine crunches here. Again, trying to lift that right shoulder up as high as the left. This time we feel that cinch in the left side of the body. Exhaling as you lift. Hold and pulse. 16 times. And then you are done. All the hard work is over. We get to stretch. So I do give you that little figure four and that psoas stretch at the end. I recommend finding a deeper stretch for the body. We do have a couple that are listed within the playlist. So feel free to find one that calls for your body today or find whatever stretch that you need to finish out this class. Nice job, you guys. Short and sweet, 30 minutes. We'll see you guys next time, okay?